morning, good afternoon, and good evening, people on YouTube. And welcome back to William in Japan. Today you join me on a beautiful, warm, late January afternoon. And the keen eye of you guys may notice that we are back on the Aqua Line again. Yes, that means we're heading back to Chiba. My favorite background. Oh, backyard. My apologies. <laughs> right, that's been some fun. Right, my favorite backyard. Our playground for a quick, easy ride. Last week, Japan, at least Tokyo, had one of its coldest week since heading into winter. Fortunately, it was dry, so not much of snow has built up. But up in the mountains, especially the mountain passes that we usually go, has been clotted up. So instead of a usual video of me introducing you guys to a new bit of road, let's head down to one of my favorite cafes and little spots that's usually on our way to our destination and show you guys around. All right, lots of crosswind right now. See you in a bit. Alrighty folks, as we peel off the highway, we're heading to one of the cafes that I love to go for a great view like this guys. This is Tokyo Bay and our right across there is where we just came from. Now on this side is where all the fun happens. Wait a second, before we head into the cafe I just mentioned, I remember this place that we should be able to see Mount Fuji, if I'm correct. One moment. Hopefully nobody gets pissed off for me parking here. Ah, okay. There it is. Not very visible today, but great view anyways. All right, guys, back on the road. Right, you guys, we're almost there. So the southern part of Chiba usually consists of these kind of fishing villages right at the coast. Just look at that such a beautiful place to enjoy yourself. It's not like really, really fast-paced riding. Just enjoy the view. And enjoy yourself. Alright guys, as we come up to the cafe, I almost forgot to mention the name to you guys. It is called Misaki. Would it be direct translation from Japanese means cape so it is actually stated right on the edge of a cliff off the shore and the entrance is very very hard to find people usually miss it I've been here a few times so I know where to enter from but as you can see this is a small entrance and tough definitely doesn't look like somewhere oh god I hate this a cafe should be off-roading on a Ducati Super Sport definitely isn't something I expected to do today uh, what is that lady doing let's pull up first Let's park 
it here. All right, guys. Just a moment. I gotta show you guys around. So guys, how did you enjoy the view? Frankly speaking, the coffee, <laughs> there isn't anything special. You're just there for the view. Yes, it's a bit cold. Wind is a bit strong today, but it's still worth it, guys. So we're actually really close to the forest road that I've shown you guys quite around, oh, it's already a year, a year ago. The Kanaya Motona Forest Road is actually right around here. And this area has a lot of those hand carved tunnels that I showed you guys in another video in the past. So, yeah, it's actually all in this area. So, before I let you guys go, I'm gonna show you one of those hand carved, really uh, not extremely ancient. Um, they are mostly made in the late Meiji era, early Taisho era. So, at latest, maybe 1920, so around 100 years ago. But nevertheless, they are old hand carved tunnels. And one of the most famous ones is actually right up around here as well. So, as I mentioned, before I let you guys go, this drop by and have a quick look. See you in a bit. Okay guys, we're almost there. So again, pretty typical with southern Chiba places to go, I guess. It's again stuck in some kind of weird small route right outside a tunnel. So, very easily missed. But if you know where you're looking, there are tons of these little spots. It only takes you around 5 minutes. But it's always worth your time. Hmm, that is some nice classic bike. Not sure what it is it with that brief look, but I def definitely dig those twin round headlights. Okay, here we are. Let's make a quick right turn <laughs> right outside this tunnel. It's a bit scary sometimes because ongoing traffic is downhill. You don't see them that easily. And this, not this one, the tunnel behind it, behind it is the Hendok Tunnel of Torozaka Taishi, a Buddhist temple up on the hills. There you go guys, just look at that. GoPro and iPhone never does these kind of sceneries justice. The, how magnificent it looks in person is really really it really, you really have to be here to feel how spectacular this is. Just look at this. Every single bit is carved by hand. Wow, and look at that. Just look at that height. How much people, how much time must have cost those ancestors. Not mine, of course, not Japanese. But the Japanese bat in those times to actually make this tunnel. Alrighty guys, this has been William. 
hope you enjoyed this kind of a bit different video. And see you next time. Bye bye.